the moon rises and the night overwhelming the beast. Happy Halloween from the USA Network. <laughs> Is scrubbing mildew making your shower a chamber of horrors? Hello, horror fans. Sven Gulli here. Come explore my favorite town, Berwyn, and pick up some classic horror collectibles from Horror Bulls, located at 6731 West Roosevelt Road, or visit horrorbulls.com. A selection so big, it's scary. This Begin transmission. Halloween is so great, it's terrifying. You ready? Drunken Lucifer. Spray on Pilex instant mildew stain remover, and mildew stains vanish with no scrubbing. Try Tylex and escape the torture of scrubbing. Days of Halloween, all month long, only on Sci-Fi. Have a safe and happy Halloween. Are we having Halloween this year? Are, are we? Okay. Good, good. Halloween's still on. Alright. GPX is on the air. Episode 13? Because Halloween, Sam Hain is backwards this year. Backwards this year. Nothing could tear me away from my town chocolate medium. Who is that? Hey, I'll start Happy, happy Halloween. Sort of. Believe it or not, once again, the Garbage Pail Flicks podcast show is back on the airwaves. And yes, it's October. Season of the Pumpkin. Believe it or not. not. Time to wear a mask. You know, carve a pumpkin or two, or maybe six. No trick or treating, no haunted houses. So just grab your sack and open your ear holes because today on the pale, we're going to talk on two, yes, two. Classic, sure to tingle your retro gears. I'm talking something from deep down in my mind hole on 1031, which is Night Out, and the 1985 not-so-classic horror comedy, Transylvania 65,000. Fuck waiting for the Great Pumpkin this year. We're staying in and summoning the spirits of TV's Hollows Past right here on the GPX Podcast. VHS Tape Yard. If you're stuck inside and you can't get out, but you feel like being free, grab a witch and make a switch and see what you can be. That's Halloween. That's Witch's Night Out from 1978. Probably my all time favorite spookerific favorite Halloween special. From early, early, early on in my childhood, I'm sure. Probably one of the first ever Halloween cartoons I've ever watched. It's gotta be the first. Yeah. Chock full of Halloween magic. Halloween. Halloween. So we jump right into 1978, where we meet Small and Tender. Two kids who love Halloween are just spazzing their brains out over it. Come on, Small, we'll scare them all! Oh, yeah! Trick or treat! Why, it's small and tender. Oh, don't you look cute? Cute? Did you hear that? Cute! Why not? It's 1978. Those were the best Halloweens. You have the townspeople with Mayor Goodley. You know, you know, ha Halloween is for children. I mean, one wouldn't want to see grown-up adults running around in silly costumes. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Goodley. I think that dressing up is just immature, but Halloween, surely it could be nice for everybody. Yeah. I mean, I think it's important that adults learn to express themselves. What we need? is something to make Halloween meaningful to adults as people. Yes, my friends, with community cooperation, a little brainstorming, listing our priorities, we could achieve a really definitive Halloween experience. Get people involved. For instance, couldn't we have a party? The trash humans, malicious and rotten. Party smarty, dress up like monkeys and hang from the chandeliers. You can just go as you are, 
rotten. Yeah? Why don't you rent yourself out as a spook? You'd make a fortune. Now, now, you two. And of course, the beloved Bazooey, 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 who comes in like a pussified cat in a hat to watch these little bastards, small and tender. And yes, that's their names, small and tender. Yeah, okay. Moving along. It's rotten, rotten, like I said, the townspeople, they're searching for a place to throw their Halloween extravaganza. And they stumble upon an old haunted mansion and decide to have the big party at this haunted mansion on the 31st. We could have a nice party. We could decorate some place as a haunted house. Right on, nicely. I know where there is a haunted house. The old empty house on the edge of town. Exactly. What we need to do is organize. Delegate responsibility. Why, I intend to make this the most important Halloween this town has ever seen. Nicely, you phone everybody and invite them to a Halloween party they'll... Unaware that the witch lives there. You know, the et cetera, witch. Etc. Etc. And I, Goodly, will investigate the old empty house that people seem to think is... Uh, uh, haunted. Haunted. Uh, quite and right. the witch is bored on this Halloween. So she po she poses as a fairy godmother. A faded flower. Here it is, Halloween, and not one call. I've been waiting all day. It wasn't always like this for me. Back in the old days, I was a star in demand. I turned princes into frogs twice a week. I could grant every wicked wish in the book. See this magic wand? Magic power going to waste. Watch this. <laughs> Cruising into the window like a not so graceful Peter Pan. A veritable tinkerbell. To what else, Grant? the wishes of small and tender who just want to scare the shit out of everybody in their town Halloween is many fun we didn't scare anybody everybody recognized us they all know who we were so what does the witch do she takes her magic wand and she if someone wants to be a real wolf man now who might that be me me can i be a real wolf man no, Small, don't do it. But out, pal. Can't you see the kid's got a real need here? Yes, yes! Happy Halloween, Small. Happy hey, neat! Oh, look at me, look at me! Gee, Small, that's terrific. Can I be a real ghost, please, please? <laughs> I'm the babysitter! How am I gonna explain this? Will you relax? Turns the little brats into real monsters. The boy into a werewolf, and the girl into a ghost. And of course, reluctant, spazzing out Bazooey into a Frankenstein monster. Stop! Hey, it's Bazooey! As they successfully crash the party, chase the townspeople away, heading for the hills, <laughs> scaring the bejesus out of the mayor and the whole lot of them, only for them to come back with pitchforks and torches, in classic style, to kill the monsters. Yeah, well, I mean, sure, but, you know, why not? <laughs> Only problem is, the kids are stuck as monsters, because the witch lost the wand. Quiet! Everybody! Now I know, we are, we are, we are besieged by mysterious and terrifying monsters that have already taken three of our young people. But talk will not help us now. We need action. We must organize, pull together, rally our courage, strengthen our hearts, and pursue these frightful creatures to the end. We'll make this world safe for our family, for society, for democracy, for the civilizations of the world! Destroy the monsters! And guess whose grubby hands have the wand? Malicious. And rotten. Mm, malicious, you've got something sort of stuck in your head there. Looks like some kind of magic wand. Okay, keep it down. Over here. Okay, with tuna and raisin stuffing, smothered in whipped cream and ketchup. Mm. 
<laughs> I told you. you. You're getting the hang of it now. It's a bag of garbage. Great, great. It's we'll all be rich. Rich. We'll be rich. What? Give me that. Kazemi. Kazawi. Kakamimi. The flicks fact. This Halloween gem featured the voice acting talents of the late great comedian Gilda Radner as the witch godmother. Just you wait, my darlings, till you meet your gracious hostess. <laughs> and Catherine O'Hara from Beetlejuice and SCTV as the voice of Malicious. Just a ding dong minute! Also included the voice acting talents of the creator, creator, and director, John Leach. Also did another holiday-themed anime animated special entitled The Gift of Winter prior to this in 1974 with a lot of the same characters and art style. And the lesson learned in this wacky cartoon is be careful what you wish for. If we had a fairy godmother, she could change me into a real ghost. And a real wolfman. <laughs> well, there's really no such thing as a fairy godmother. I wish I could be a real wolfman. I wish I could be a real ghost. Things have really gotten us. Don't scare people. It's not nice to scare people, I guess. As the townspeople join in and encourage the witch to turn them all into their favorite monsters as they party the night away. Disco Halloween grooving into the night. Don't get me wrong, though, we've had a great time. I recommend. <laughs> on this October 31st, giving this a Bazooie. watch, enjoying the cult of Bazooey. <laughs> What's your name? Yeah. Bazooey. Bazooey. Stop! Why not? Hey, it's Bazooey. Rich magic Halloween. <laughs> If your room is haunted by old carpeting, don't be afraid. Empire is having a monster carpet sale. It's savings to die for. Save 50% off all the latest styles and colors. We'll bring samples to your home and install next day with no payments till 2003. Save 50% on Empire's monster carpet sale. It's a sale you can sink your teeth into. <laughs> This Halloween, find Monster Game pieces in Pepsi products and Doritos brand tortilla chips. The right match can win you thousands of prizes up to a million dollars. Look for specially marked packages. It could change your life for good. You'll never take out the garbage. Play Pepsi Doritos Monster Match for Monster Money. Right here, Mistress of the Dark and sometimes Surfer Babe, because Coors Light is the official beer of Halloween. And the party is at the beach, Malibu Beach, where you can hang ten. Look, Frankie and Annette. And of course, when it's time to chill, just reach for that cooler of Coors Light. Aged, ice cold, never frozen stiff. It's the right beer now for Halloween. Just look for the Silver Bullet Smooth Display and dig up your friends now for a party at the beach. Happy Halloween, dudes. Found in the trash is up next, but first, I want to dust off this old Ouija board that I found in the basement in a crawl space. Looks like it was made in about 1918. Looks safe enough. Let's play with this little Ouija board from Parker Brothers, shall we? Maybe we can channel some celebrities to talk to on this Halloween spooky episode. Let's see, who would I really want to talk to? You know what? Since in the Halloween spirit, let, let's channel and uh, let's summon uh, Vincent Price. Yes, Vincent Price. Yes, let's let's talk to Mr. Price and see what he... Chamber what, of what, Why? What do you mean? He's not a... This thing's telling me he's not available. 
Why is Grubbing he... mildew. Never mind. All right, let, let's uh, channel somebody else. Who am I speaking to? Ouija board. Who am I speaking to? PG. Hey, hey, man. Look. T. O. M. C. I'm really gonna fuck with this way this time, man. What does it look like? Ta Tommy Chong. Tommy Chong isn't. Tommy Chong isn't dead. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's. Really? Life and yeah, death. Really? Yeah. No it's just bad for you, man. Don't you read Dan Landers? <laughs> Well, all right. Thanks, Tommy yeah, John. You know, I mean, so, so how did you even get? What is going on? Not a whole lot, but enough. What? Enough to keep me here for a little while. What is going on? This thing is a piece of shit. What? That's what I look at it. That's the way I look at it. Fucking thing don't work, piece of. Get this out of here. Hey, Tom, you got any? Uh, you know, you got some green? No, it's all I got, man. All right, yeah. Oh, well, thanks. All right. Well, it's all of a okay. side. Well, uh, yeah. Got to see the the weed get legal. Well, I mean, totally. it is here in Chicago now. Should we just wait? I thought it wasn't Columbia. So yeah, can we just like smoke that, dude? Or no, I can't. That's got to last me. Well, we can actually we can smoke that you have there. I mean, it smells awesome. No. Uh... I, I'd like to, man, but I, I don't want to be responsible for turning you into a drug addict. Okay, well, at least, like, light it up and I can at least, you know, get a contact or something? No, I, I mean, can't. That's got to last me. No. Okay, I, Chong. I'd like to, man. Chong's but... about, hey, yeah. Chong. All right. Uh, Chong's choice. Yeah, I get it. All right, Chong. You know this guy was around when 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 pot, you know, that everything, everybody smoking? It used to be illegal. Can you believe that? All right. Well, I got I got like stuff to do. I gotta like cook a pot roast and get Thanksgiving dinner going. I think I'm on some kind of weird drug again. Thanks. You can use the door. I mean, I'm going to become totally irrelevant by the time I leave. That didn't go as planned. Does he, does oh, that did not go anybody? well at all. Yeah, This year in Halloween costumes. Madonna, Chuck Norris, Minnie Mouse. As you can see, everyone has their own opinion, but it seems that cartoon characters, superheroes, and rock stars are the most popular costumes for today's trick or treaters. Kids seem to have different uh, standards of heroes now. It's just on TV, whoever the hero is at the time is who they idolize, I guess, and want to be at the time they can be at once a year. You know? When we were smaller, I would say, you know, maybe a clown or something like that would satisfy us. But now they're wanting more into the wigs and the makeup and the, you know, new clothes and stuff like that. Yeah. What happened to the days of witches and vampires? Well, they've been replaced by modern day characters like Rambo and He-Man. But one kind of Halloween costume will never go out of style. The gross monster. <laughs> yeah. Why are monsters cool? They got blood running down their face and everything. That's right. Creepy, crawly faces that make you jump out of your skin are still in style. And this is sure to stay in fashion a lot longer than this will. Cater Lee, New Center 12. Don't be scared. I'm the super sweet monster with the super sweet new cereal, Count Chocula. Bethel, here's the super sweet new cereal, Frankenberry. But I've got chocolate sweeties for monstrous chocolate flavor. Well, I've got berry flavored sweeties for monstrous strawberry flavor. Count Chocula, Frankenberry. Come to the haunted house of Chocula. 21st from 10 to 6 p.m. And goblins who are planning to attend? Who dare to enter the Paso Civic Center? And a dollar for your kid is all you'll pay to enter. Come on. <laughs> okay, we're back. Are we back? Are we, are we back? And I found this in the trash. If you don't want it, this segment is called Hey man, I found this in the trash. trash if, if you don't want this, I'll keep it, man. Supernatural. Now you can join the battle between brave Lionheart and the evil skull and the eerie ghostly. I'm your side. Now, master. 
They change to fight with ghostly might. Turn them into the light, and they change into even more powerful creatures. Now, the wine needs free. Take this. Supernatural. Lionheart, Skull, and Ghostling sold separately. New from Supernatural. Way down deep in the garbage pail. Supernaturals. Action figures. From 1987. No, 1986, we'll say. 87. 86? 86. We're just a few. One of, one of few toys. Action figures. That had, holo that had holographic features. In the 80s, like Visionaries, Battle Beasts, and those Secret Wars shields that were holographic, sort of. These kick-ass figures were based on more of a horror theme with characters in two opposing sides, the powers of good versus the powers of evil. Wow! And then you had the side ghosts, which were these little characters that were shrouded in dark robes. All holographic. Most all toys had a story or legend to accompany the action figures, and this was no different. With a century-old tomb that was broken open to release the horrors it contained, and thus the battle on Earth between good and evil, aka the supernatural. You know, you would think with a cool story like that, there'd be a cartoon series, because that's how 80s went. There was a cartoon, there was a toy line to accompany the cartoon. But no, Supernaturals never had a cartoon. Instead, they went the comic book route, which is even more bodacious. They were given away free when you bought the figures. Ha! <laughs> I mean... Supernaturals! There was only one wave of these holographic wonders, so only one set came out. And then it was axed. Supernatural. When I say holographic figures, meaning that when light hits a certain angle of the plate on the action figure, it reveals a different image. Supernatural. On each side, you had three characters, and then a crap load of ghosts or druid type figures shrouded little ghosts supernatural on the evil side you had bernhardt skull and snakebite who i remember having it's the only reason i remember this supernatural and on the good side you had eagle eye lionheart and thunderbolt supernatural and oddly the group of ghosts had the most supernatural with eight figures totaling including and these are the real names weird wolf vamp pa like grandpa vamp pa spooks see through scary cat rags mr lucky and hooter supernatural to actually grasp what these uh, these action figures were, you just have to see pictures. I'm going to try my best to put some pictures up. If anybody doesn't remember these, if you do, then ah, uh, please, ah, uh, supernatural. I want a little something like this. Ah, uh, supernatural. <laughs> it's a monster door knocker you can put together. And write in your name. What is it for? To stick on your door. Even invent a funny game. Guess what I did with mine. <laughs> Wanna go psycho with me, Elvira? Here at the Bates Motel. Look for me wherever they sell mug root beer. And enter the Go Psycho with Elvira contest. You can be my guest at Universal Studios in Hollywood for a monstrous bash at the Bates Motel. Shower anyone? This Halloween goes psycho with Elvira and win a party with Mug Root Beer and me. I love my mug. I love it. Mm, one word's uh, nutty. And in the stuffing. Mm. 
Now you're cooking. Because you have to get past deadly monsters, goblins, snakes, and dragons. Huh? Go, go. Oh, 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 go, go. My delicious super sweet cereal, Count Chocula. Birthday do. Turn it back and forth and make the monster move. Oh, what a beautiful day for Frankenberry, the world's super sweet new cereal. Fui! Here's the world's super sweet new cereal, Cold Chocula. Fickle, I've got berry flavored sweeties for monstrous strawberry flavor. Well, I've got chocolate sweeties for monstrous chocolate flavor. Frankenberry, Cold Chocula. Meow. <laughs> Frankenberry, Cold Chocula. For all your printing needs, all your media, littlemonstersprinting.com. This segment is called The Junk Pile. Ooh, he's coming out! <laughs> <laughs> Dead from Television Center in Transylvania, it's Bull! You ain't want to play doubles? <laughs> Nutty, sweet, delicious! Ooh. Halloween special from 1982, WGN, presented on Devil's Night, October 30th, Dead from Transylvania, this uh, Canadian-produced Halloween special from the Great Fright North, This variety show hosted by a Dracula and his vampiris His music, comedy, and disco numbers Just gotta say, the Dracula host This guy, they got because Joe Flattery and Count Floyd is not available Thank you very much <laughs> Thank you, and welcome to Boo The show that people are dying to be on <laughs> Please, Count. That's an old joke. I'm an old guy. <laughs> Complete with a laugh track and, uh, I guess, or an audience that doesn't, that just laughs at anything. So anyway, we decided to do a variety Brought to you show. by General Mills Bye. Foods Thank International you. Conference. <laughs> Everyone told us variety shows are dead. Right away, we knew this was a show for us. <laughs> With special guests Dion Warwick, Rip Taylor, are probably the biggest names that WGN Productions had the access to at this time. From Television Center in Transylvania, it's Boo. Starring Peter Cullen. Who? Jack Duffy. <laughs> what? Ben Gordon. Whatever. Barbara Law. Y you lost. Ted Ziegler. Y you lost me at Zig Ziegler. And with special guest stars Dion Warwick and Rip Taylor. Boom! With the beginning musical number titled, what else? Boo. <laughs> General Foods and National Coffees to celebrate the moments of your life. The only thing better than this Halloween variety show in this Halloween treasure is the local Chicago commercials that accompany this special. You want another door in this room? Yeah. Of hauntedly bad <laughs> skits okay, strung okay, together for about 30 it? minutes. Just a moment, and, I'll and by out. bad, I mean outstanding and dated references from circa 1980. <laughs> Rip Taylor also is in a bar full of monsters and aliens. Do you need any cards? I think 75% is laugh tracks. Laughing audience. Come on, Count. Tell the people who we are. You're right, darling. Friend, I'm Walter Cronkite, and this is Phyllis Dealer. 
<laughs> audience laughing. Come on, I'm joking. I'm not Walter Cronkite. No, friend, I am the Count. And this, this is the Contessa. I honestly had to watch this crap twice to make sure it was real. And I wasn't just super baked on pumpkin spice. There's animated segues and Halloween themed boo. And then there's Rip Taylor. And of course, there's a spooky <laughs> comedy of Rip Taylor. Police, give me a break. And like I mentioned, Rip Taylor is in this. He's not a wolf man or a vampire man either. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the handsomest of them all? <laughs> Why, Frankie, you are. She will. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, I'm gonna argue with him. <laughs> of course, Dion Warwick jams to a less enthusiastic or spooky rather. There is a great skit where Frankenstein falls in love with Dion Warwick, and she did pose as a fortune teller psychic. So if you know Dion Warwick, that makes sense. So there's that. <laughs> Also skits with the Wolfman seeing a psychiatrist, Dracula's answering machine, and of course, again, Rip Taylor. Well, let's face it, we all have a handicap. <laughs> Boo is definitely a Canadian Halloween little tree day. Eh? As you eat Reese's, pumpkins, and candy corn together, trick nor a treat they just want to scare the pants right off of you and entertain you I guess right we'll be right back with a lot more of you must stop tampering with nature you must Stop creating these fiendish, gruesome creatures! Yeah. Give me a break! Are you ready for some new Halloween fun? See what happens on the Halloween that almost wasn't. The end to a beloved 2,000-year-old tradition, but my mind is made up. I cooked. Have fun with Judd Hirsch, Marriott Hartley, Henry Gibson, and a wonderful cast of spooky characters. And find out. Saturday at 1.30. In 1979, an over-the-top 70s Halloween special aired on ABC TV. The night Dracula saved the world, a.k.a. the Halloween that almost wasn't. Brought to you by Kenner Toys, and sadly there was never toys made of these monstrous characters. This is not a, this is something I just watched, like, this year. So I wasn't familiar with this as other people were, but I actually found from finding this that other people are very familiar with this. And it was a part of their childhood. No more tricks, no more treats, no more Halloween. Not unless Dracula, Frankenstein, the Wolfman, the Mummy, Igor and the zombie can convince the witch to fly over the moon. Meet all your favorite scary monsters tonight. The Halloween that almost wasn't. Both have pretty long titles. The Halloween that almost wasn't and The Night Dracula Saved the World. Very, very lengthy titles. One title was used for the VHS limited releases. And the other was the original title when it aired on ABC. And later on, from what I've researched, aired on Disney Channel for a while. And the one, and the two, and the three. Anywho, this stars Judd Hirsch as Dracula. You might remember Judd as the ta from Taxi. Here goes. Or Dear John and other TV classics. Mm. 
Marianne Hartley is also isn't a stranger to TV as the witch. There's also the mom in Encino Man. The Flying Queen of Halloween! To me! For Out of my way, Shorty. I don't have to take this kind of treatment from anybody. Henry Gibson as Igor, who we all loved in The Burbs as the creepy neighbor. The <laughs> also was in Biodome, you know. Gibson. Making a six degrees of Polly Shore between Biodome and Jack Riley as the werewolf. He was also in everything from Spaceballs to Seinfeld. From Budapest, here he is, half man, half animal, and all monsters. Warren the Will. Hi. What are you gonna do? John Shuck, of course, as Frankenstein, who also, fun flick fact, another famous monster that he played, Herman Munster. In the short lived 1990s, Munsters Today. From Bavaria. The incredible man whom Dr. Frankenstein created in his spare time from a lot of spare parts. The Frankenstein creature. So the story goes of this forgotten Halloween treat is Dracula's gathering all the famous monsters. You know, the usual suspects, Frankenstein, Mummy, Wolfman, and some zombie that walks around with his arms out in front of him and zombies around From tropical Haiti, the king of the living dead, Zabar the zombie, at a ball. So Dracula's pissed off that the news reports are stating that there's not going to be a Halloween, that there's a rumor that Dracula ended Halloween, and he's getting a bad, bad press. When in fact the witch is the culprit. The Transylvania News Department. <laughs> to a family giving us little history notes about the uh, harvest season of Halloween. If this rumor is correct, this means the end of Halloween, a beloved 2,000-year-old tradition. 2,000 years? Sure. Back in those days, people used to light bonfires to scare away the evil spirits. Nowadays, jack-o'-lanterns are supposed to do the same thing. Do you know why people got dressed up for Halloween? Because it was fun. No, for protection. They thought if they dressed up to look like an evil spirit, the other spirits wouldn't bother them. That's how the custom started. But we're still gonna have a Halloween though, aren't we? Meanwhile, Dracula is still pissed off and chewing out the group of monsters for losing their scare and not being scary enough. <laughs> <laughs> and as for all of you, I have called you here tonight to warn you. You have exploited your monsterhood so much that you are no longer scary. People are laughing at you instead of shrieking. And now, someone has started the rumor that there is to be no more Halloween. Said the, the witch has to jump over the moon to kick off Halloween, and she's refusing to do it unless she gets royalties from Dracula. T-shirt sales and figures and posters, all the Halloween stuff she wants to be it, it, it to be her and not Dracula. So she's refusing to jump over the moon. No? Then you're not more important than me. Well, what more do you want? It's all here on this little list. You call this a little list? Now you listen to me. No, you listen to me. If you want me to ride over the moon tomorrow night, you will agree to every condition on this list. I'm listening. Then. My picture replaces yours on the official posters and souvenir t-shirts of Transylvania. The t-shirts! Ah, it goes by this book. Dracula's like Santa Claus of Halloween, right? Right? <laughs> I mean, he doesn't bring gifts, he brings bloodshed and pain. Regardless if you're naughty or nice. 
How dare they suggest such a thing? Halloween is my national holiday. And so, it is a sad possibility that Halloween, which got its name from All Hallows Day, may be receding from us forever. And of course, what Halloween special wouldn't be complete without the ending being just one big blowout monster mash disco party. So, who's gonna dance with me? As all Halloween specials should end. Keep on thinking, right? keep on thinking, don't stop thinking, love will survive. Well. <laughs> keep on Let's thinking, do. don't stop thinking. So if you haven't checked out the Halloween that almost wasn't, The Night Dracula Saved the World, give it a watch this month, and send me some comments or, you know, emails, anything, and tell me your favorite memory of the Halloween that almost wasn't, uh, and I'll share these memories maybe next year or something. <laughs> What's going to happen to us? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? This ride is just for you. Monsters and all. You can trade them with friends and put on a show. One mini monster in specially marked boxes of the monster cereals. It's the Garbage Pail Flicks podcast. Our family had the toughest time making friends. Then we bought Pressman's new video cassette game, Doorways to Horror. Now we have lots of friends, right, Mummy? Doorways to Horror is what you play along with famous Hollywood film monsters. It really takes brains. Mm. It's the VCR game you can really sink your teeth into. And they love it too. A little monsters. Pressman's new video cassette game, Doorways to Horror. It's so much fun, it's scary. Also look for doorways to adventure. Carve a big pumpkin smile, glowing ever so bright. Sure, and I'm a leprechaun, not a pumpkin. Halloween's hero will visit tonight. Hail Halloween! When the witches and goblins come out to play, only one jack-o'-lantern can scare them away. You ain't seen nothing yet! Don't miss the true story of Jack O'Lantern. A pre-Halloween special tonight at 7 on WTVA. A Halloween pumpkin can be a lot of fun for grown-ups. Hey kids, isn't this fun? But with a pumpkin cutter, children of all ages can easily design and carve their own Halloween pumpkins in complete safety. The pumpkin cutter is simple and safe to use. There are no sharp edges, yet it quickly cuts through all pumpkins smoothly. Any child can learn to use the pumpkin cutter the very first time. Make this Halloween extra special with the pumpkin cutter. Available at Pathmark, Genovese, and Rickles Home Centers. Someone answer that damn phone. I know it's not ringing, but why wait? Hello! This is the cow! But I'm not in right now, so... How about... The VHS Tape Yard. Come to Transylvania. Where is that? I don't know. It's over there someplace. Where you'll meet Jeff Goldblum, Ed Begley Jr. Hi, ladies. Joseph Bologna. John Biner, Carol Kane. Shut up, you lowlife. I am low. I'm low. Michael Richards and Gina Davis. Tell me you want me to. <laughs> so for a good time. Call Transylvania 65000. Rated PG. It's good, huh? Transylvania 65,000, 1985, rated PG. Transylvania 65,000. Fear and loathing meet hilarity head on as two bumbling reporters, Jeff Goldblum and Ed Begley Jr., 
try to unravel the mystery of modern day Transylvania. Along the way, they meet a decidedly bizarre assortment of loonies and throwbacks. The lowly servant Radu, John Biner, and the even more lowly Loopy, Carol Kane, the oversexed vampirist Odette, Gina Davis, who has an unnatural penchant for necking the mysterious gypsy Madame Moravia, who babbles about a werewolf named Larry, and the mad doctor Malavacqua, Joseph Bologna, who has been carrying on some rather shady experiments. What the reporters uncover is enough to scare the cape off of any self-respecting count. The good citizens of Transylvania cordially invite you to this, the most frighten, frighteningly funny event of the year. It's a wild ghost chase. It's a macabre monster mash. It's a vampire's delight. It's Transylvania 6. Are you all wrapped up in your problems? Soon you'll be perfect. Feeling suffocated? Put your face to my breast. Like you haven't got a leg to stand on? It's good, huh? Come to Transylvania, where the best things in life are dead. Knock off that growling crap! Jeff Goldblum and Ed Begley Jr. in Transylvania 6 5000. Rated PG. Coming soon, consult your local newspaper for showtimes. This is one of those movies that was on cable all the time, if you recall. Any of the listeners out there might recall I used to play this all the time. Transylvania 6 5000, directed by Vinny Rudy DeLuca. Vinny was, and Spaceballs was Pizza the Hut's right hand robot. Directed this, yeah. Like it says in the, on the back of the VHS. An all-star cast from Jeff Goldblum. If you don't know who that is, you shouldn't be listening to this podcast. Jeffrey Jones, also, you shouldn't be listening to this podcast if you don't know who that is. He's a creep, though. Ed Begley Jr., Gina Davis, Norman Fell, Mr. Roper, Joe Bologna, Carol Kane, Ogre from Revenge of the Nerds, and Michael Richards in his best role, next to Stanley Spadowski in UHF. Two tabloid reporters are whisked off to Transylvania by Mr. Roper in search of monsters. <laughs> Frank Sinatra. I was asking about Frank Sinatra, really. Do you understand the joke? It was just a silly joke. <laughs> kidding. Where, where have you been? What's all this about? <laughs> Nothing. I asked the clerk a simple question. <laughs> what kind of question? I asked about Frankenstein. <laughs> what? Frankenstein. Okay, I asked about Frankenstein. <laughs> We're in town five minutes and you ask a point-blank question like that? Should I have eased into it? What do you think? I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, my friend was just kidding. That's an American uh, joke. A big joke. I know. No, no, wait. This is Transylvania. Don't you want to ask us about Dracula? No. I don't know that. Or how about the creature from the Black Lagoon? <laughs> hey, I've got Godzilla in the back room. I like it. That's a good one. How about the blob? <laughs> Jeff Goldblum, the skeptical one and Ed Begley Jr., the more eager of the two reporters. When they land in the kooky town of Transylvania, they're welcomed by a zany mayor, Jeffrey Jones, the creeper, and his bellhop butler. If you need anything, my name is Feos. 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 I'm sorry, is that your last no, name? No, no, no. Marishit. I'm sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. We don't speak Trans day. Transylvania. Do we have a phrase book? <laughs> yes. It's good. It's good. It's, good. it's very good. It's good. He's good. He's good. Uh, I guess. He played, outstandingly played, by Michael Richards pre Kramer days. Fejos torments them throughout the whole entire movie. Ah, yes, 
You are expected. Away from there. Yeah. I'm get get to stop. Yeah, stop. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Get out of here. Get away from there, you you fool! You 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 stupid idiot! Yeah. Yeah. No, you 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 idiot! The spooky little scary '80s gem horror comedy, in the spirit of you know Saturday the Fourteenth or. Or Young Frankenstein, or Full Moon High. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Ouch! Uh, it, it. It's good. Eh? Goldblum's trying to get laid throughout the whole movie. Ed Begley Jr. is getting molested by Gina Davis's vampire. Ogre the Wolfman is scaring the hell out of everybody. The whole gang of these so-called monsters and Mad Doctor Bologna is doing shady shit in his castle. Creating a Frankenstein monster that finds his way to the town as the townspeople panic and start a mob. Pitchforks and torches. Strange. You're looking for something kinky. No, 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 no. Let me, let me put it this way. Pitchforks and torches. <coughs> it's good, huh? This is one of those monster movies where it has all the, you know, all the universal monsters kind of represented. It's not really talked about all that much. I'm just a talking brute. Talking brute? Yeah, yeah. And only to be revealed at the end that they're not really monsters, they just look like monsters? It's funny! It's funny! Good. Yeah, good! Yeah. The owner would like to have you for lunch, figuratively speaking. <laughs> of course. Transylvania 6, 5,000. Yes, Danko. Have you seen Frankenstein lately? Jeff Goldblum or, or Ed Begley Jr. opens a door and, and Michael Richards is on a coin-operated horse just like riding it and he's like, hey, I got to show you something. Look, look, this is funny. Look, I got to show you something. It's ridiculous. It's just, it's one of those... <laughs> here bringing you more creepy classics from the Universal Studios Horror Vault here on Meet TV. And this month, we go for the lightning round with the most popular undying monster in all moviedom, the Frankenstein Monster. <laughs> We've got a sinister sampler of the monster and its creator's various exploits and incarnations, aided and embedded by a variety of unusual characters. Yes, all this month, it's Frankenfest on Sven Gulli on Meet TV. Oh, 
<laughs> Pete Wine, Transylvania. Dr. Frankenstein has reported that he has successfully transplanted the head of a parrot onto the body of a lion. He's lurking in shopping malls. The Ninja Warrior. He might be the hottest Halloween costume for adults and kids this year, starting at around $40. Well, Ninja uh, is popular because there are a lot of movies on cable, and as a matter of fact, every Saturday there are cable movies, and the movie American Ninja really started a craze. Ninja is the ancient Japanese art of assassination. What a ninja. I've been called a ninny, but never a ninja. In the last five years, costume sales have doubled for the few privately owned manufacturers. They won't give out their exact sales figures, but they do say adults are responsible for half of the dollar volume these days, up from just 5% of the business a decade ago. Jeff Roberts is looking for a costume. Buckwheat. And he'll find rubber faces costing as much as $60. He's going to a costume party. Professional people like me, another, I'm a sales rep, another one's a sales rep for another company. Uh, uh, one guy is a security manager. Ronald Reagan and Fidel Castro faces are popular. So are faces from horror movies, like Jason in the Halloween series. Yeah, the Jason movies have, uh, have made the, the Jason mask a real hot commodity. Uh, it's just a simple hockey mask, but boy, it's just been selling like crazy. In the next week, retailers will sell 85% of their Halloween goods. But more and more retailers, like the barefoot mailman at the Miami International Mall, are finding year-round demand for makeup, hooks, and horrors. Oh my God, is she in town again? Fruit! Quiet! Fruit! Oh. I'm me, Fruit Fruit, with my fruit-flavored cereal, Fruit Fruit, part of your nutritious breakfast. Fruit on you! But delicious Fruit Fruit has fruit-flavored marshmallows for the howling good taste of fruit. Count Chocula's got chocolate marshmallows. Frank and Betty's got strawberry-flavored marshmallows. Fruit! Fruit Fruit, with a howling good taste of fruit. And blueberry. Ah, Jesus Christ. Oh, sorry about that see the transmitter is fading so that means it's time to go happy 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 halloween eve or sam hain to the brain it's like somebody shot the christmas tree don't it <laughs> but until next time this is shucky balzac aka the werewolf of berwin ending transmission GPX. <laughs>on the Disney Sunday movie, the Davises are moving into a new house. Definite fixer-upper. Where the tenants are deceased, <laughs> but not departed. This house is not haunted. Keep an eye out for the boogity man. What boogity man? Boogity boogity. Now it's every man, woman, and child for himself. I saw him! What a weirdo. Dad's gonna negotiate with Mr. Hamburg. It's spirited family fun, oh. Mr. Boogity. I'd move. Count Chocula and Frankenberry coming your way. How about a monster for breakfast today? Blueberry has blueberry flavors. Frankenberry, blueberry, and chocolate. Blueberry can't bother us up here. Hello, blueberry, blueberry. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't cry, it's me, Booberry, with my ghostly good cereal, Booberry. I just want to tell you about my new ghostly good blueberry flavor cereal. You can enjoy this nutritious breakfast with Booberry. Here's a switch, my ghostly good Booberry, with blueberry flavored marshmallows to spark up breakfast. Homey, isn't it? It's Booberry! With Booberry! To ring my chimes, Booberry has blueberry flavored marshmallows. Mm. Ah. My hauntingly delicious cereal. Oh, scary. <laughs> well, introducing Frankenberry, Count Chocula, and Booberry. We're the monsters strong and tough. We'll scare you, but you can't scare us. Booberry's got stage fright. He's the hell as a ghost. He's white as a sheep. <laughs> Yikes! Strawberry flavored Frankenberry, chocolate flavored Count Chocula, and blueberry flavored Booberry. Surprisingly delicious. We'll scare you, but you can't scare us.
Dark and eerie. And mist is all around. Drop in and see us, dearie. We're just beneath the ground. So when you hear wolves bay and screams of foolishness, it's time that you start praying you won't run into us. Can't you? Can't you? We can't catch you. And we'll catch you. Boo! And have fun with monster erasers of the friendly monsters. Put them on pencils and put on a monster show. Six monster erasers. One in specially marked boxes of Frankenberry, Booberry, and Count Chocula. And look and listen to this. A boo hooter. Boo your friends with crazy hoots. Four different colored boo hooters so you can make a boo hooter band. One free in specially marked boxes of Booberry. <laughs> Star Trek, the motion picture, collector's close-ups. It's Mr. Spock. And you can uh -huh. You can get Star Trek, the motion picture, collector's close-ups. Two on each specially marked box of the monster cereal. Just breakfast. Something free lurks in monster cereal. Will it make you handsome? Charming? Specially marked boxes of monster cereals? No. Inside one of these free wax lips, fangs, or mustaches, they just uncover the real you. And it's a monster mystery riddle. Watercolors not included. Reveal the hidden pictures that are your clues for solving the monster riddle. One monster mystery in specially marked boxes of the monster cereals. We're gonna scare the right off of you! Boo! 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 I love Frankenberry. But new fruit fruit has fruit flavored sweeties for the howling good taste of fruit. <laughs> 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 